Hey everybody, so today we will be talking about bedding in the second episode of the housing series. So, bedding, there are lots of different beddings that uh, people use for guinea pigs. I talked about last time the type of cages guinea pigs should have and certain uh, beddings are better for different cages. So, first bed I'll be talking about is fleece. So this is fleece, and when you say fleece as a guinea pig bedding, you don't really think of just normal fleeces that you have on the end of a bed kind of thing. Um, they are just normal fleeces that you buy in shops. Um, there's nothing special about them, nothing about them specially made for guinea pigs or anything, just normal fleeces. Um, obviously, fleece isn't waterproof. If you poured water on it, it would probably just stay in a puddle and roll around. So, to make fleece waterproof to use as a bedding, you need to wash it to a, like in a certain way. So, to wash a fleece quickly, you need to wash it on a 30 to 40 degree wash with mild detergent and no fabric softener. So, washing it this way for um, three to seven times um, will make it waterproof and allow the water to whip through the fleece onto the absorbent bedding below. So when you're using fleece, what you need to do is you need to go out and you need to buy the fleece. You can have it specially cut there if you want to have it cut to your cage size or you can cut it at home. The thing about cutting is that it might be frayed, so you might need to get someone who can properly cut it with proper stuff, I don't know. Um, so once you've got your fleece cut to size, you then need to wash it, like I said. You need to wash it a few times um, for it to work, because if you only wash it once, it won't, it won't really work for, properly. So the fleece I use is a black paw print fleece and um, what I've done is I've put the fleece and I use um, these clothes pads to hold it up the sides of the turrets because I didn't want to cut it in case it was frayed so I just use these clothes pads up the side and um, with fleece Underneath, you do need to have an absorbent layer, so when they do their toilet, um, the water or the urine will wick through the fleece and to the absorbent bedding below. So I've just used a normal bath towel there. So you need to wash fleece regularly, around two times a week, otherwise it will smell to smell, obviously. Now the nice thing with using fleece is that it's obviously very soft. So it's nice and soft on their feet. Um, it's used all the mess. And it's nice and soft on their feet. It also looks good so you can blend, um, make it match with any room design you have and make it fit into the room. The only thing about fleece is that when you're washing, you can sometimes get quite a lot of hair in your washing machine. And you need to hoover the, that up after, otherwise you can clutter up your washing machine because you do need to wash with the machine I don't think you can hand wash a lot of people use vinegar water when they're washing their fleeces but that's up to you I personally have never used it so when you have fleece you need to have a CNC cage because fleece won't really work in a small pet store cage which isn't a good cage anyway because when fleece is used in a small cage um, it smells a lot and of course it's harder to um, fit into the cage. There's a lot of burrowing because obviously the cage is very small and you can't use it with hutches either because fleece is obviously an indoor bedding. So it does only really suit CNC cages unfortunately. But CNC cages are the best cages to have anyway so. Now fleece um, there are a few downsides to fleece. One of them is the brushing. So, 
there are different ways that you can use fleece. You can use fleece like I do, using the fleece blanket and then the towels. But quite a lot of people now use cage liners or fleece flippers. And basically, a fleece flipper is like a pillowcase sort of thing. And inside it has a folded towel. A folded towel and then a bit of chloroplast to give it strength. And then, um, and then you usually have, like, for instance, if you have a 2x4 cage, you'd have four fleece flippers. And whenever they're dirty, you just flip them over. And you can usually last a week with fleece flippers before washing. So, um, cage liners are basically the same thing, except that you have one whole spread. Um, and you don't have separate ones, but they're basically the same thing inside. And not a lot of people use uh, Toroplast inserts with the cage liners, though. With fleece, um, it's very cheap, and instead of um, throwing loads of mess and waste out every week or so, like you do with bedding, like hay, um, fleece with the proper care will last for years. So it's a very um, reusable bedding, which is good, um, and um, it's also, it also looks nice as well, well, when it's clean quite a lot of mess here. We need to clean your tea jar, don't we? Yes we do. Ow. I don't have veg. You want your veg, don't you? So with fleece, um I tend to find it really nice to use because it's soft. Um it is harder with if you have fleece and towels though to brush and spot and spot clean because when you're spot cleaning like this all the fleece just gets bunched up and you don't really get much hay off so it's better with fleece flippers because you have a chloroplast inside so it's harder to brush so that's better um, so yeah it is quite hard to brush another thing that you can have problems with with fleece is burrowing so guinea pigs tend to burrow under the fleece. Um, on this side, um, it's fine because it's hooked over the wall, so you can't get under it. But because we didn't cut our fleece, it's a bit big. So over there, um, the fleece doesn't have, isn't hooked over the side because it can't reach. So we've had to have the old playpen there. So they had, um, so they, I did avoid them burrowing. And we had to do the same along this wall here, because they could get in that corner. And along this one, they could get under there and in that corner. So we've placed this boards, made out of chloroplasts, which they've chewed, um, on each side, and then the pen there. It does sort of ruin the look of the cage, but we can't avoid them we can't afford them burrowing because when they burrow they go under the fleece they pull all the fleece down all these are spread everywhere all their toys are upside down they've got they've tipped their hay tray over once and all the hay was everywhere they've even knocked the water bottle and they're all under the fleece and also when and when it starts to get hot and they go under the fleece I don't really want them overheating as well so it's important that you keep um, something that will stop them from burrowing. So even though it might look, ruin the look of the cage, it has to be done because for my pets, because it's very annoying as well. So um, with fleece flippers, in the UK, it's quite hard to buy. I haven't actually seen any fleece flippers to buy in the UK. So you might have to make some yourself. Um, basically, it is like a pillowcase of fleece. So you've got the fleece on the outside. Inside you've got a folded towel. And inside the towel you've got chloroplast. And on the open end of the pillowcase, 
you've got like an extra bit of fabric to touch under. And because it's harder with the chloroplast in it, they don't really borrow that much. So for fleece, it depends if you have a lot of time to clean it and you don't mind the hairs and cleaning and spot cleaning twice a day, you know, that sort of stuff, then it's a really good bed to use. Dini pillows love the softness of it, as you can see there. So yeah. Plus with fleece you can have toesies, fleece toesies. Hello. So fleece toesies only really go with fleece because if you have hay bedding then hay will just get stuck to the side and same with um, wood chips as well and it's not really suitable put that in, you know what I'm doing? no? ok so you can only use these um, toesies with these bedding and junipers love to sleep and relax in these toesies don't you? so if you can't use fleece there are other beddings they're not as good well it depends on how much time you've got and that sort of stuff but um, the other bedding in the UK is hay so hay is a very important food for guinea pigs. They need to eat it 24-7. Um, so having hay means that you put sheets of newspaper down on the cage bottom. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Aww. You didn't like that, did you? So it means you have newspaper on the bottom and you have all the hay piled up on top like that but all over the cage so with that kind of bedding your guinea pigs are weighing on the hay and pooping and all that sort of stuff so you will need to completely change out the hay every day and a few times a day which is a massive pain because they always need fresh hay so if you leave them with the same hay even if you put hay on top of the dirty hay you're still going to get poo and wee on it and it'll make it unsuitable to eat and if they don't have hay they can become ill in a matter of hours so it's very important that you clean up regularly um, hay you don't have the worry of burrowing they can just burrow in the hay as much as they like you don't have to put pens there or anything um, you do have to clean out every day but at least you're not getting you know, hair or in your washing machine or dealing with wet towels and that sort of stuff. It is easy to just pile the hay on top of the newspaper. It's not, it can be quite hard on the piggy's feet to have that full time. Um, you can't have cozy so it can be a bit uncomfortable but you know they can live with it, it's not um, bad. Sorry there's a really loud airplane outside, hope you can't hear it. <laughs> But, um, so hay is up to you really. It can poke their feet and their eyes and be a bit uncomfortable and you have to clean it out like every day. But you don't have all the, you don't have to use your washing machine for the PDs. Um, it, there's no problem of burrowing and it's very easy to use. You are dumping loads of waste, but. It all depends on your in individual choice and what your PDs prefer. So it's less maintenance, so, it, so you could clean out in the morning or um, after you come home from work or school. Um, with fleece you will have to do spot fleece throughout the day. Um, so yeah, it's up to you. I oh, don't move your tray. But um, the other bedding most commonly used in the UK is wood chips or shavings. So you might find these big bales, light hay bales, but these big bales of pine, pine chips or wood chips or wood pellets. And basically what you do is you have newspaper at the bottom again, then you have the shavings and then you have hay on top. So you still have hay. 
So I don't really know what the point of it is to have shavings and hay because it will be extremely messy and extremely smelly. That's another thing. Hay does get very messy and very smelly very quickly. Fleece, if you clean it out two times a week, like you're supposed to, it doesn't really smell, which is good. Mine does smell as we sort of clean it out um, once a week, sort of, because we get lots of hair in my washing machine. And my mum doesn't really like that. But um, if you clean it out regularly, it won't smell. But hay and shavings will really smell and will get really messy because you'll get all the hay and the shavings flying out of the cage. Um, but with shavings, they can cause health problems to their liver and their rest, um, sorry, their lungs and their breathing. Um, and it's quite hard on their feet as well. You don't want to use cat litter because a lot, quite a lot of people use cat litter. But the thing about this is, even for the litter tray or their bedding, you shouldn't really use cat litter because cat litter can be really hard on their feet and when they get wet they can sort of expand so if a guinea pig happens to eat one of these and it expands in its stomach that won't really end well so don't use cat litter but wood chips aren't very um, clean or nice smelling and can be quite hard on their feet and have liver problems and all that sort of stuff I suppose Lot, quite a lot of people use fleece as their main bedding and then in a sort of loft or a kitchen area or a toilet area they might use shavings so some shavings are alright to use they will all be a bit messy and stuff um, mem remember to never use cedar the cedar shavings are really bad so don't use cedar some shavings are alright but I do recommend that you only use them for a small part of the cage and not for their whole cage full time. If you're using a CNC cage and you're having hay or shavings, then I recommend that you have extra high walls and no cubes because all the hay will come flying out. Which will get all over the, the floor and they won't look very nice. Um, so bedding is really up to you. It depends on your individual choice and what your piddies prefer and that sort of stuff. So if you try out different kinds of bedding, I find fleece, um, another good thing about fleece is that, there's another plane, sorry. But the um, good thing about fleece is that my guinea pigs were originally on hay bedding. Um, and then we moved to fleece and had a hay tray for a litter tray as well. It does get cleaned out regularly, so don't worry about that. But, um, so they you sort of used as a litter tray because they were so used to sort of doing their business on hay. I wasn't used to doing it on fleece. So I find out, I find that my guinea pigs are more litter trained when I used fleece. So I've used shavings, hay, and fleece. Fleece is definitely the best one for me. And then it's shave, um, then it's hay. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what I think. But it's up to you you to try different beddings and see which one is best. I know in the US that they use hair fresh and stuff, but we don't get that over here, so I'm not really sure how good that is for your PDs. But um so yeah, this is House and Series, episode two for the bedding. Hopefully it should have um told uh, helped you know understand more about trying to bed in pigeon pits. So another thing, hay and shavings can be used in a hutch or a small pet store cage, um, and can't really be used in CNC cage. They're not supposed to be used in CNC cage. So a um, fleece can't be used in hutches or anything like that. So different fleece and beddings match different cages so you've got to do a bit of it uh, for drone out but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this um, the next episode will be how to set up a CNC cage and different things to put in it so I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye